Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to put a checkout inside of a pop-up form in Go High Level. Okay, so you're probably used to putting checkouts on pages, but did you know that you can put them right inside the pop-up and you can even do a two-step? So I'm going to show you how that's done and how it all works. Let's jump over to my screen, okay? So here we are. I'm just inside of one of my funnels here and we're on an example page that I've used in a few videos you may have seen them and so we've got this example checkout page so all I've done is go to sites and then I'm inside one of my funnels right go to whatever page where you want to have people check out so it's probably your sales page right is where this would make the most sense okay and what we're going to do on this page, so like what we're used to seeing, right, is having all of the checkout on the actual page itself. And so what we can do, though, is we can remove that. And then let's see in here. Let's do this. Let's add an element and let's grab a pre-built section like one of these call to actions. All right and just put that in here. Okay, so let me close that. And instead of free, it's gonna be $27, right? And we're gonna put our checkout form as what opens from this button. So instead of having to load a new page, so like the reason why this is cool and why you would wanna use this is because you don't have to load a new page. So for all your mobile traffic, all the friends that you have that are using their phone to buy stuff, then this is super handy because you can just open the pop-up right in front of them and they don't have to load a new page so you don't lose them with like bad internet connections and whatever so let me just get rid of that section so that this is what our page looks like now is when i click on this button let's go over here to the right side okay and the button action at the very bottom right now is already set to open a pop-up so that's perfect for us okay so we're gonna leave that as is, and then what we're gonna do is just go up here to the menu, go to pop-up settings, okay? And then let me just uh, scroll down here a little bit, okay? And so I've already got something of a start of a pop-up here. So let me just delete those things, because what you're gonna see when you come in here is just an empty spot, and it's gonna look like this, right? So we just add a row, okay? And what I like to do is just give it a headline. So, you know, whatever, 100% safe checkout, right? And then we'll add a new row right below that. Now you don't want to mess with like two columns or anything like that. You want to just stick with single column in a pop-up because it's already a pretty skinny little spot. Okay, so now we'll add an element. And this is where we can do our checkout. Okay, so... As you know from my other checkout videos and stuff, I'm a fan of doing a two-step checkout, whether you kind of build that with a form on one page or whether you use the actual two-step checkout. It gives you a chance to basically collect the prospect's contact information so that you can follow up with them if they decide not to buy, which a lot of people do, right? So. Basically, it allows you to do the abandoned cart type of follow-up sequences to try to bring those people back to the checkout page and get them to buy. Okay, so here we go. We've added the two-step checkout in here, and so you can see it right here. It's like step one over here to the left, step two over here. All right, let's get fancier here and just add a progress bar as well. So we'll do that, so that's up there. And then basically what we can do here is just click on our form. So the way we do that is we just go over here to the advanced tab. So click on the form, two-step order, go over here to advanced, then we're on step one. So step one is going to be step one. We'll just call it step one. Okay, contact info. All right, we're not gonna show the company name. We wanna make this as short of a form as we can here. All right, so we'll turn off everything that we don't need. All right, we can hide the phone number and we're definitely, we can hide the shipping. If we're doing e-com, you know, or that kind of thing, then of course you might want the shipping info. 
here. So think about that. This is what's going to open on their phone or wherever, or even on their computer. Okay. And then let's make sure we've got this stuff set. All right. So enable cart mode. We don't need that unless we're doing e-com and that kind of thing, or selling multiple products in one go, like an e-com store. Okay, so that all looks good. Now we can just go to step two, and let's customize this. We'll say get access. Okay, and we'll just say something like 100% secure again, whatever. Edit shipping details. Now this is like the little icon that's right here to go back a step. I'm just going to delete that. We don't need that. Okay. And so, bam, that is going to be everything. So when we add a product to our page, now we can do the whole checkout right in here. Okay. So let's go back over to the general tab. And the last thing that we want to do on this little checkout form is just figure out what you want to have happen after they pay. Okay. So what we'll do, it's by default going to the next step in your funnel. So what we'll do is select a step. This is what I like prefer to do, just so that you can really kind of make sure you're sending people to the place you want. So we'll do select a step, and then we're going to send them to the thank you. Okay, so then, let's see, we'll close this. Now there's one more thing I forgot. I want to show you here in the pop-up settings. Click on the blue pop-up settings here. Okay. And we just want to make sure that the pop-up is not it is set to none. Okay. We don't want a checkout form popping up when somebody starts to leave the page. All right, because that's just a little. So we'll just set that to none and then we're good. So ours was already there. Looks good. We're all published. All right, so let's go and preview the page. Okay, so here's our pretend sales page. Go to step two, and there we go. Full checkout right in there. So hope you like this, hope it helps you out. And if you wanna join and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. And we'll see you next time.